Today is a special day because today the saint we recognize helped usher in a new century of religious revival. Pope St. Pius X lived a poor life until his death. He took seriously the commandment of Jesus to love the least of these, and even though he had a position of great power, he taught humbly. Born Joseph Sarto in 1835 in a family of ten children, Joseph was born in Riese, Italy. His family was part of the poor economic class in Italy at that time. But from a very young age, Joseph knew what he wanted to do with his life. He wanted to give it back to God. Joseph had to make many sacrifices to become a priest. Some of these sacrifices consisted of him walking many miles daily to go to school, leaving his family behind, and even leaving a wage-working job to support his family. It was a sacrifice he was more than willing to pay for, though, and his family was also there to support him. Throughout his whole life, Joseph gave away his belongings to the poor. He never forgot his humble beginnings. From the journey of youth to the priesthood to bishop to cardinal and then to pope, he held on to nothing on earth. When Pope Leo XIII died in 1903, the successor chosen was Cardinal Joseph Sarto. He chose the name Pius X and was seated as Pope later that year. As Pope, Pius's teachings focused on Holy Communion. He wanted it to be more available for children, so the age requirement changed from 12 to 7 so that more kids could receive it. During Pius's pontificate, he wanted to combat modernism because relativism was a growing philosophy that was coming out of modernism. The, the, the philosophy that everybody can have their own way of life and that their own interpretation of life is just to them was not in accordance with Pius or the Catholic Church. Um, the, the breaks in theology between different individuals were not compatible with the way that Jesus taught because it's dangerous for every individual to come to a kind of revelation by themselves. What I mean by that is that Jesus' teachings were meant to be discovered and experienced in a community and not by the individual. At the end of his life, after giving all he had away to the poor, Pope Pius X from humble beginnings passed away August 20th, 1914 at the outbreak of World War I. He was canonized just 40 years later by Pope Pius XII. We have a lifetime while we are here on earth. We make decisions every single day that can impact those around us. Pius knew this, and he made sure that whoever he was with and whatever he was doing, he first loved.